Good day viewers, I'm going to talk a little bit about trees today. I'm on the porch, thought I'd do a little quick vlog. Looks like 50 degrees. I want to talk a little bit about trees. When we moved in this property here, back in 1983, it was just a cow pasture. There was no trees, so every tree you see on my property I planted. Started out with two silver maple trees out there. One of them's already got blown down by a storm. It's no longer here. Well, you should plan ahead on what, you should have some knowledge about what you're doing when you plant trees on your property, which I didn't have. Let's take the silver maple tree. It grows roots that stick up out there in the property and hit my lawnmower. I guess the only way to cure that would be to put some dirt back out there cover them up so that tree should have never been planted there without some forethought on both sides of my driveway you got two red tip bushes they came in a little one gallon can they were a little hedge bush just like these azaleas right here beside the porch they grow into full-size trees now the pecan tree out there that's probably the only tree that I should have planted more of the big oak tree here you see I had to get out there today and blow the acorns and leaves off the driveway they had so many fell out there you can't even walk to the mailbox without trying to slip or trip over acorns and you're squishing them under your feet when you walk that just messes up the driveway the leaves haven't finished falling, so I didn't blow everything away, but I pretty well blew off the driveway with my lawnmower. I could get out the blower, and that requires a lot of walking, which I can't do. So I drive around blowing them off with a lawnmower. The leaves don't bother me too bad. They're easy enough to get rid of, but the limbs that fall out of these oak trees, they're bad about shedding small dead limbs. Uh, and the acorns. What fool would plant a tree that bears thousands of acorns right beside his driveway? Walter Parks would. That's something I should have thought out. I've got several cedar trees around here that I planted. And I dug them out in, the, out in the woods. You just go out and find a little small one-foot cedar tree or a three-foot cedar tree, whatever size you find. Dig it up and bring it home and plant it. Well, that oak tree, I dug it up on a neighbor's property. And it was only about four feet tall, just a little skinny thing growing there in the, the woods. He said, that'll grow into a nice tree. And dig that up, and I did. I brought it home and planted there. I had a big red oak tree I planted out there. It didn't make it. Uh, a big around on this side of the property, Let me get over here. I came out here today and picked up three or four big limbs. They made it as far as over there and throw them over the fence. I didn't haul them far. But that big oak tree came up volunteer. I'm really shocked at how much it costs to get somebody to come out here and cut these trees down. If I get a heavy enough storm, that one's big enough it could fall on the house. This little cedar tree don't bother me that much at all. But if you're going to plant a cedar tree, you got to realize it takes some pruning and keeps the limbs cut back so you can walk and mow underneath it. As, as a matter of fact, you can't even grow grass under this thing here. So that's my topic of my conversation today is trees. The backyard I've got two or three volunteer trees that came up. I've got a couple of apple trees out there I planted. I planted a peach tree out by the barn. It didn't make it. Well it's still alive but it ain't doing all that hot. Half of it fell out, got hit by the lightning or something. So today I'll show you just a little bit of clips of me blowing the acorns and stuff off the driveway. 
in fact i'll probably dub in part of this vlog for you to listen to while i'm blowing um, stuff off the driveway i blew a few leaves around blowing them off the grass while i was waiting for the mailman to run i didn't finish blowing the leaves away because you can see right here i did this area here but i didn't finish because that tree ain't through shedding yet my advice is don't plant an oak tree next to your driveway or anywhere where you're going to unless you just want an abundance of acorns there's millions of them laying out there on the ground i'm hoping my pecan tree will do better in the future but when i do get pecans squirrels haul them all the way pecan tree is a good thing to grow on your property Anyway, it's getting a little chilly. I'm going to go back in. And maybe I'll produce a vlog for y'all to watch tonight. Uh, in case I don't get around to it before the week is out, I do want to wish all my viewers a very happy hol holiday. And I hope you have a good Thanksgiving. And eat plenty of turkey and just have a good old time. It's time to celebrate Thanksgiving. Just about that time of year, every year. I'm looking forward to some turkey and dressing and cranberries and cornbread dressing and some nice vegetables, maybe some pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie. Y'all come on, I'm getting hungry just talking about it.